What's up guys, Mason the Brock Anderson here, and this is Bull Season 1, Episode 9, Light My Fire. Apologize for the, the lighting, but I don't really have lighting equipment, so I just have to work with the house lights, and I'm house sitting for somebody, so I don't really have control over this, so hopefully you guys can just listen without having to actually... It, it's probably better for you guys that you don't see me very clearly, so... But yeah, this was a good episode. Um, you got Bull returning to his hometown, so that's always something interesting that you get to see. Uh, just overall, I mean, very, very interesting stories going on. And once again, like I've been saying, one of the things about the show is that it's very focused on the trial. You know, so you've got this arson murder going on, and we find out later that somebody's been setting up the client to take the fall for it, pretty much. They put a lighter with his fingerprints on the crime scene. But that's not really the focus again. And I, I think that's one of the things about the show that I'm really enjoying is that they're staying true to what they've got. They're not trying to turn into, oh, who done it? You know, let's figure it out. Let's try to solve the clues. No, they just, they've got Danny working on in the background. You've got Bull talking to the chief about how he thinks one of the firefighters did it. And that's all it is. It's in the background. We find out at the end who did it. So that way there is some resolution to that story. Because, you know, you don't want to have anything that's not resolved. <laughs> you don't want to have this story about, oh, well, who actually did it then? Even if that's not the point of the show, to not answer that question would leave all the audience going, well, okay, that's great that he got a not guilty, but who did it? I still want to know that. So, you know, they, they tend to wrap it up fairly quickly because we know they've been figuring it out around the, the trial itself. And so that's always kind of thrown in at the end. And even in, in this case, it was still kind of like, okay, I didn't really expect that. You know, like they, they actually had me guessing on who it could possibly be. And the other episodes where we've had some sort of mystery, most of the time you kind of look at the characters involved, you can try to figure it out. Not really using clues because they don't give you any, but you can kind of guess and be like, okay, so maybe this person did it and they did it because of this for, for whatever reason. In this case, it was like I truly didn't know. I, I figured once I figured out the firefighters, I was like, okay, it's probably one of those two that the chief was talking to. But then they throw in at the end that Joyce was involved and she actually was like trying to renovate the place, trying to buy up the, the land, and the fires were just part of her plan. So... I don't know, it was just kind of clever, the fact that it wasn't anybody that I was truly expecting. It was somebody that I didn't expect at all. I didn't really expect Joyce. I, I thought she was thrown in to be kind of a a fake antagonist, you know, somebody who causes our team some issues during the trial. I didn't actually expect her to be the antagonist, the one that set the fire. So, I don't know, it was just, I, I like the fact that it ended up being her because it just sort of, threw a little twist in there that I wasn't really expecting. And it was a clever one. It wasn't something stupid that doesn't make any sense. So, really enjoyed that. The trial itself was pretty interesting. It was one of those common things that you see a lot where you've got a small town, you've got a family that everybody knows and they don't like the family. So, one of the members of the family that actually isn't a bad person is getting looped in with the name of the family. And so now they're blaming that person, even though they have nothing to do with anything. Same thing happened for Bull, too, but he didn't let it affect him as much. You could see the kid, he really did let it affect him. I mean, he was kind of an outcast. He did his own thing, didn't really talk to anybody because of how they were treating him. So you, you see the effect of that. And while I've seen it done before, they did it very effectively here. They did it cleverly. They didn't really stick to the same old formula that I've seen over and over again. They didn't focus so much on the, oh, this is bad, you shouldn't just bad, bad, bad. They kind of made it where, yeah, it, it happens. You know, gossip happens, but you can do better. You know, you can, you can make the choice to say, okay, I'm not going to take the gossip. I'm not just going to listen to it and believe everything that somebody else says. So I like the fact that they focus more on the changing aspect of it than... We're going to focus on how bad this is and how you shouldn't do it. And, ah. I, I like that. I like the fact that they took that, that route for it. And on top of that, I mean, the, the trial itself, it was interesting to see how they were going to handle it. I mean, in this case, like Bull said, a small town, you, don't really, you can't really get a mirror jury for such a small town. So they ended up just using Joyce to get the information about the jury, which is different but interesting. 
I mean, to have somebody who's so tightly woven into the community that she knows how the jury is leaning, that's pretty interesting. I don't know if it's believable or not, but I would like to think that it is because, I don't know, it's clever. It's a little bit different uh, twist on what we've been coming to expect out of each episode. And I think that's kind of what this show has done so far. I believe, hopefully, as the season goes on, we'll start to see differing cases. We'll start to see some different storylines pop up. But for this first half of the season so far, it's felt like it's been each case is the same thing, but a little bit different each time. You know, so in this case, it's like, okay, well, the judge doesn't like uh, electronic stuff, so now Bull has to read the jury, doesn't get any information through his earpiece because he can't bring in electronics, so now he has to do it by himself. In this case, you've got a jury who, you've got a jury member who they wanted to strike, but the, the lawyer misunderstood a cue, and so now he left that jury member on there, so now they had to figure out how to solve that. In another case, in, in this case, you've got no mirror jury, you just have to rely on one person's word. It's different. I, I like what they're doing with it. You can see what they're trying to do, and they're doing it effectively, but now I want them to sort of start changing it up, to where it's not just the same old formula with a little tweak each episode. I want it to start to evolve into something different, because if they start doing this, every single episode. It's going to be fun for like the first two seasons and then after that, unless they have something else going on, I find it hard to believe this is going to last longer than just a couple seasons because there's no way you can just keep a, a, a season-long interest of, oh, we're going to watch this trial and then we're going to watch this trial and then we're going to watch this trial. You have to have some really interesting stuff going on the outside, so hopefully they have a plan for that. If not, this may just start to turn into an episode by episode basis and it may get boring after a while we'll see but yeah i really like what they did with this episode i think there was a lot of a lot of good stuff in it a lot of interesting stories we learned a bit more about bull and his backstory the team itself the interactions between them are still a lot of fun uh, i mean you have cable learning more about bull she loves to make fun of him for it uh, you see danny and uh, benny and chunk interacting at some point so i don't know it's just it's so much fun to watch the team that it's keeping me interested there and that's really what's important because if you don't have an interesting team well you have to rely on just the trials and if some of the trials haven't been that interesting so whenever you have a trial that's not that interesting your team has to be able to be interesting enough to keep the watchers interest and it is so they've done a good job with the season so far I believe this is like the mid-season finale so I, I think be a few weeks before it comes back but Looking forward to the second half of the season. Hopefully they have some good plans in store. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. What do you like and dislike about this episode? Let me know. We can talk about and discuss all that good stuff. Leave a like and subscribe to future bull reviews, and I'll see you at the next one. Peace out.